Hello, I'm Mike, the Pokemon Biologist, and today we're going to be discussing what the heck is Relicanth? Relicanth was first found while deep diving in Hoenn's many, many oceans. But what is this ancient looking fish? Well, Relicanth is based off a rare but fascinating group of fish called coelacanths. That's where the canth in Relicanth comes from. That's clever. Coelacanths themselves are part of an extremely important group of fish called Sarcopterygii, also known as the lobe-finned fish. You see, all fish are divided into one of two groups based on the type of fins they have. As I said before, Relicanth and all the other coelacanths are part of the lobe fin fish, which are way more rare. On the other hand, pretty much every fish you've ever seen is called a ray fin fish because of the thin bony lines in their fins called rays. That's clever. Lobe fin fish are so rare that there are only eight species still alive today. Two species of coelacanth and six species of lungfish. Biologists once thought that coelacanths went extinct over 66 million years ago, around the same time as the dinosaurs, because they hadn't found a fossil of a coelacanth any more recently than that, and there have been no living specimens found. However, that changed in 1938, when a living coelacanth was found off of the coast of South Africa, millions of years after we thought it went extinct. What was most shocking to scientists was that this coelacanth still looked almost identical to the same coelacanths they had found in fossils over 60 million years ago. This same story is repeated over and over again in Relicanth's Pokedex entries. Like Relicanth, coelacanths tend to live deep in the ocean, and they don't come out during the day because of their sensitive eyes. They come out at night to feed on anything they can find on the ocean floor. So what kind of coelacanth is Relicanth? Well, thankfully for me, there are only two species of coelacanth left alive today. So we can narrow down our search to the West Indian Ocean coelacanth and the Indonesian coelacanth. Now, the general body plan of the two coelacanths are pretty much identical. So in order to figure out which one is relicanth, we need to look at the only distinguishable feature between the two. Their body color. The West Indian Ocean coelacanth tends to be a blue color while the Indonesian coelacanth tends to be a brownish color with splotches all over its body, which looks exactly like our buddy Relicanth. Meaning we can now officially confirm that Relicanth is in fact an Indonesian coelacanth. Did you like that video? Well, why don't you give it a thumbs up? Throw a comment my way. Let me know what you think of the new green screen setup. And are you like me? You don't want to miss a single Pokemon biology video? Well, hit that old subscribe button. You like social media? Check me out on Facebook and Twitter. Links are in the description. And as I always say, gotta learn them all.